Welcome to Fair Play Frenzy Fanatics. I'm Fair Play 2333, and when it comes to sports, you're always in a frenzy. Why? Because you're a fanatic. Kobe Bryant number eight versus Kobe Bryant 24. Who's better? All right, now Kobe Bryant number eight. Number eight, one All-Star Game MVP. Number 24, three All-Star Game MVP. Kobe eight, one dunk contest. Kobe 24, no dunk contest. Kobe eight, one all rookie. Kobe 24, obviously no all rookie. Kobe eight, eight all NBA teams. Kobe 24, seven all NBA teams. Kobe eight, six all defensive. Kobe 24, six all defensive. Kobe 8, one scoring champion. Kobe 24, one scoring champion trophy. Kobe 8, 12 Western Conference Players of the Month. Kobe 24, 20 Western Conference Players of the Month. Kobe 24, one MVP. Kobe 24, two finals MVPs. All right, now Kobe Bryant number 8. He shot 45% from the field, 33% from the three. 83% from the free throw line. And Kobe Bryant, number 24, he shot 44% from the field, 32% from the three-point line, but he shot a better 84% from the free throw line. Kobe, number eight, 707 games. Kobe, 24, 639 games. Kobe, eight, 25,239 minutes. Kobe, 24, 23,398 minutes. Kobe, eight, 16,866 points. Kobe, 24, 16,777 points. Kobe, eight, 3,634 rebounds. Kobe, 24, 3,413 rebounds. Kobe, eight, 3,148 assists. Kobe, 24, 3,158 assists. Kobe, eight, 1,059 steals. Kobe, 24, 885. Kobe, eight, 431 blocks. Kobe, 24, 209 blocks. And then we talked about the percentage. And Kobe, eight, he won 65% of his games. Kobe, 24, he won 58% of his games. Now, when we look at this situation, man, uh, the younger Kobe led in a lot more stats, but you also got to understand that the younger Kobe had a shack. So that also helped him get a lot of open shots, but it also stifled some of his development when you look at it from that aspect. And then you got to remember that uh, Kobe 24 was also getting getting older as Kobe number eight was going into his peak. Kobe 24 peaked and then went away from his peak when you look at a lot of those stats. now. When you look at the finals, which Kobe Bryant was more impressive in the finals is hard to say. Playing alongside Shaquille O'Neal, number eight, went back to back to back, an accomplishment that hasn't been matched by anyone since. At the end of the decade, number 24 couldn't three-peat, but he did win a pair of finals MVP trophies. Now, Kobe Bryant peak. There are so many iconic Kobe Bryant games that it's hard to pick just one. Even if you get one per jersey game, his career high 81 game came just months before he ditched number eight. And while his 61 point performance at Madison Square Garden wasn't his best in number 24, it was probably his most memorable. Now, when you look at number eight, Most points scored in a single game in history. Number eight had what? 81. Most points scored at current Madison Square Garden by an opponent. Kobe 24, 61 points. Now, when we look at the culture, right? As number eight, Kobe started his career in Adidas. The jersey number is where the crazy eight sneaker gets his name and changed to Nike before changing his jersey number. And then when you look at 24 sneakers, Kobe went higher with his jersey change around the same time. He went lower with his kicks, helping to popularize score-style low-cut shoes amongst NBA players. When we look at this, and I got to, man, it's hard. I'm a super Kobe fan, right? And I got to decide who was the best Kobe. 
for me, Kobe, Bryant, slam dunk, giant. I think this was one of the best Kobe's. Um, the reason why is because we got a glimpse to see how great he could be playing alongside of another great player. So just imagine what he would have been if he would have been able to do that by himself. Now, would he have had the same amount of championships? Um, I don't know because he ended up winning championships by himself. So that would tell me that he can win championships by himself. I think if he would have had a couple of serviceable players, he wouldn't have even needed a Shaq, maybe two decent players, like one lockdown defender and one big man who block and rebound. He wouldn't even need to be a scorer. And we would have seen Kobe um, break every scoring record known to the NBA. Um, number 24, I mean, monumental. The 61-point um, game at Madison Square Garden, winning those two championships without Shaq, giving him a total of five, putting him right behind Jordan. He's seven for five in the finals. Jordan six for six. LeBron four for ten. So, man, like I say, I got to pick number eight, Kobe. Rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. Uh, but number eight, Kobe, the younger Kobe, the wilder Kobe, the more dynamic Kobe, the slam dunk contest winning Kobe. That's the Kobe I'm going to go with. Thank you for tuning in to Fair Play Frenzy Fanatics. I'm Fair Play 2333. And never forget, when it comes to sports, you're always in a frenzy because you're a fanatic. If you rocking with my sports takes, if you find them outrageous or entertaining, Click the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. And don't forget to share this to your favorite sports group and your favorite sports group chat.